Okay, my friends, very quick. Fermilab has opened up their new facility here for the detector to find neutrinos. I'm going to show you something that we have found these 10 years ago. Okay, these are neutrinos. They come black and white, attached together, and then they come in different shades, and they call them majorna. This is really what a neutrino is, is the black and white together. This is 12 years ago. Watch this. Here it is right here. That is a sterile neutrino. The glowy edge around it, the black, and this is the other part of the neutrino, it's the electron neutrino. This is the muon neutrino. That has all the mass, all the weight, and a glowy edge around it. And this gets small and gets big. And this is again Don Lincoln from Fermilab over 10 years ago. And we did all these same things and created sterile muons. Here they are right here. This is Don Lincoln's particles I just showed you from his article. That's the glowy one, a glowy edge around it. And that's the one that's just glowy. And here they are. Those are the ones that we created using light only, not protons head on. Here they are. These are Dirac neutrinos. Back to back makes a photon. One of them, if you just had a black and a white, that would be a Dirac neutrino. This is a sterile neutrino, and we did create them into sterile. Here it is, which Fermilab's trying to do. The black particles are sterile neutrinos, and they were separated during this Venturi effect, which created fission and fusion and sterile electron showers and sterile black muon neutrinos. There it is, all done. Okay, my friends, this is what we're paying billions of dollars for a year to Fermilab to walk around in circles to find the particles that we found 10 years ago, as I just showed you. And here it is right here. They're talking about work on this has been going on for almost a decade. So the appearance of the first neutrino reactions has been a long time coming. No, it was a long time ago. It's filled with 112 tons of super chilled liquid argon. That can't be cheap can detect the fleeting brush of a neutrino's interaction via the weak nuclear force. It's, virtually everything in this article is not correct. Particles don't pass through you billions a second. They say, oh yeah, they're just flowing through everything in the universe. No, they're not. They're attached to the light that bounces off of you. They're part of that light. They're not just things that go off by themselves. They're always attached to light or always attached to particles. The only way you can separate them is to do what we did, is to put them through the Venturi, or to do what they did over at, at CERN and smash them head on and get little bits and pieces of them flying here and there. We can see them actually divide and see the separation, which is called fission and fusion, sterile neutrinos, white electron showers, precisely as Don Lincoln has reported with this looking for. We found those particles. He's got me blocked. I just did a thing about being censored. I'm censored right across the board. I cannot speak in the science realm. And it's got to do with the mud fossils. They consider me an idiot because I have found the evidence that they have missed. And now I am I'm disconnected from society because they won't allow this because it, it destroys their funding. That's my opinion.